Welcome back guys to the Koi Pan Experience. In this video, we are going to do an unboxing and a mini review of this item. The Periha PB5000. It's a amphibious pump. So what does that mean for those of you who don't know it? It's called amphibious pump because you can set this up submerged underwater like this. Or you can also set this up outside of water like this. That's basically why it's called amphibious. And for its model, PB5000, this belongs to the PB line series from Periha. And it's the smallest among the PB line. PB5000, the smallest one, up to PB25000, which is the strongest among the PB line. Amphibious pump from Periha, this PB series, has three levels of adjustment. For the PB5000, if you can see it over here, at uh, number one, power input, which is 10 watts, it has an output of 4,000 liters per hour. At uh, the second power input, 15 watts, it has a maximum output power of 4,500 liters. For its maximum power, 20 watts, it has a maximum output of 5,000 liters per hour. If you're not really familiar with the uh, power to uh, power input relationship to water output, this 20 watts to 5,000 liters per hour is very very good i think it's the best so far that i've seen from all the pumps that i've seen sold in the market okay let's go ahead and open this item so you can see what's inside join me guys i'm very excited for this Woohoo! here we go there So this is like the control module of this pump. If you turn this on, it will be by default at level 1. At level 1, it will display a 10 watts input power. Okay. And then, how will I show this to you? I'll try my best. At level 1 again, it will show you an input of 10 watts with maximum water output of 4,000 liters per hour. And then at second level, by pressing this button, press it, it will be on its second level which is 15 watts with a maximum water output of 4,500 liters per hour. Press it again for the last time. It will be on its maximum power and this will have a display of 20 watts. The water output for that is 5,000 liters per hour. Press it again and it will come back to level 1 at 10 watts with 4,000 liters per hour water output. The back. You see it here if you come and see again the sticker that was in the body of the pump is also shown here same details guys is shown have a look see slowly it's a really well built module and look at this electrical wires they're massive okay? very massive now, I want to show you the host connectors that comes with this. Here it is. And you have this rubber ring, which you will connect here, like that. This three graduation of sizes, they're, they're not movable, okay? What's movable is only this orange uh, what do you call this cap screw cap that's the only movable thing but them the three they're not movable let's connect them so you can see okay. it's quite easy you don't need special training to do this <laughs> okay. all the way there if you're doing a submerged setup, this is how you would do it. You will not remove this cover. And the cover means uh, water comes in here on the inlet and then water comes out here on the outlet. So what type of hoses would you need for this water outlet? You have three choices. Let's check the sizes from the smallest. The smallest one is 20 millimeters. Okay. The second one is 30 millimeters and the biggest one is 
this. 37 millimeters, the biggest one. So I hope you all saw that. Uh, if I'm guessing, I think I'll choose the, the middle one. I think that'd be the good size for this. If you're gonna do a uh, amphibious setup, you're gonna do an outside of the water setup, like the one in the box, like this one, you'd need to remove this cover and insert the other hose adjust, uh, hose connector, rather. Uh, let me show it to you. Remove this uh, shield again, Just put it here. Then connect this one. Don't forget the rubber ring. Okay. And then connect it just like you did on the other one. Mm, this one's pretty smooth. Yeah. And then you have to armor hose again. Going inside your pond. This is the one. You have to run it going inside your pond like that. Okay guys, in the next video, we are going to do a power consumption test for this Peria PV5000. We're going to be using these two power monitors which will tell us if indeed if at level 1 settings the Peria consumes 10 watts at level 2 settings the Peria consumes 15 watts and at its maximum at level 3 the Peria PV5000 consumes 20 watts so stay tuned by the way if you want me to make more videos like this please comment below Click the subscribe button so you'll know when a new video from me is available. Welcome back guys. So now we are going to do the power test. Join me as we do this. This will also be my first time in doing a power test. So the power meters, I have two of them. They will help us determine the electrical consumption of this very happy V5000. I'm excited to see the results. I don't know what's gonna happen, so join me, okay? I bought two power meters just so we can have a confirmation of whatever results we can get from one power meter and to the other. I have to do this very slowly, I have to be careful because we are with water and electricity here on my right. So I'm gonna put the Peria pump down in this tub here on my right. Yeah, slowly. Just like that. Just gonna dry my hands. So that's it, I'll see it. Can come back here. We're gonna do the plugging of the wires, and I need to set this up so you can see all the results or the display here from the power module, as well as the display coming from the uh, power monitors. The plug of the Peria, you'll plug it here on the power monitor, just like that, and then. Now you plug it to the outlet. Are you ready? Here we go. One, two, three. So that's the power delay of Peria. Three seconds before it turns on. And there, turning on now. The Peria PV5000 is now running. It's on. If you can come back here. We are now at level one, which is at 10 watts. The power module is showing a 10 watts reading. However, the power monitor is only giving us a 3.36 watts reading. And you can check the movement of water here. It's very light. I'm gonna bring it up now to level two. There, press it. The power module is now showing a 15 watts reading. And the power monitor is giving us a reading of 8 point uh, something watts. And check the water flow from the water movement rather from level 2 of the Peria PV5000. Let's go ahead now and bring it to the maximum power, level 3. You can come back here. here. At level 3, it will now be 20 watts. And the power module is at 20 watts. 
and the power monitor showing us a reading of 17.80 watts rounded up this could be 20 watts okay and look at the water movement now that is the water movement at level 3 um, 5,000 liters per hour pretty strong I'll show it to you from another view from another angle just so you can see a better uh, view of the water movement that's at level 3 5,000 liters per hour 20 watts I'm gonna show you back again the reading from the power module and the power meter there so that's 20 watts in the power module and in 18 point something reading from the power monitor close enough right this is really interesting guys I really 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 like this so now let's swap another power monitor that I have to this one okay so stand by just gonna turn this off by unplugging it yeah and check the water movement now it's off come back here we're gonna put the other power monitor in operation so are you ready guys here we go yeah. so there's a delay of three seconds and it's turning on now there reading is still adjusting there right now we are at level 3 of the Spirit PV5000 showing us a 17.8 reading 17.9 from the power monitor so it's the same as the reading we had a while back from this power monitor so there's a confirmation of our reading okay so check the water again the water movement from level 3 of the Spirit PV5000 come back I'm gonna bring it down to level 1 so we can also check the effect in the power monitor reading slowly it's coming down so the power module in the period is now showing 10 watts but just the same from the other power monitor a while back it shows a reading of 3 point something watts just the same wow that's interesting and check the water movement It is quite calm. See that? So come back. We're gonna bring it up to level two. Here. Let's see the movement in the power monitor. 15 watts on the power module from Perija, huh? but in the power monitor is 8.0 watts. Just the same as the reading we had a while back. So this is indeed a confirmation. This is the reason why we have two power monitors for the purpose of confirmation and check the water movement at level 2 it's quite strong this is supposed to be 4,000 liters no 4,500 liters at level 2 come back now we're gonna bring it up to maximum level maximum level level 3 20 watts for power module and here in the power monitor there as expected just like a while ago 70.8 watts check the water movement there bingo guys it's game over this is what I wanted to show you So what I've accomplished here basically is that the Peria PV5000 is indeed true rated when it says that 20 watts is what it's gonna use to power this pump at 5,000 liters per hour. It is indeed showing 20 watts. 17.5, 18.5, 5 watts, that is close to 20 watts and it's acceptable guys. Um, I hope you concur with me on that. Whew. Okay, so that's it for this test. Um, Stay tuned for next week because we're going to do this also with the power meter. It's gonna be interesting, okay? 
this concludes our video for the Perea PV5000 guys. I'm really happy with the outcome of this video. I highly recommend the Perea PV5000 if you're searching for a uh, small submersible pump. And this one is amphibious. Plus, it's economical. Imagine at 20 watts and then you have an output of 5,000 liters per hour. And then it's true rated, okay? It does not lie on what's in the box. We tested it with two power meters, power monitors, and it's true rated. That's a big thing, okay? And then the quality, look at these wires. Huh? They did not go cheap on us with this Peria PV5000. So I highly recommend it, guys. It's a bit pricey for a submersible pump, but it's worth it. Trust me. Okay? Anyhow, if you like this video and find this helpful, please share this with your friends. And don't forget to click that like button. If you're new to my channel, please, please, please remember to subscribe. I would really appreciate that so we can continue doing more of this water tech reviews. So that's it for now, guys. Thank you very much for watching and see you in my next video.